How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Brawlhalla today as always and today is a special day because Volkov the Vampire King has entered Brawlhalla. He is the fifth legend to be released in 2019 and I know that well I'll show you how I know it later. So anyways we have Volkov the Vampire King. He has Axe and Scythe He's got 4 strength, 8 dexterity, 6 defense, and 4 speed. Very nice. I like the dexterity and the defense. I wish he had a little more speed, but you can't have everything, right? Let's look at some of these skins. He comes with 3 skins that you can buy anytime. They're not exclusive. You got Blood Moon Volkov. I like the skin. It kind of reminds me of the Azuri skin for Halloween, I guess, but not as cool in a way. Also kind of the Werebat Ragnar. Uh, you have Blue Virus Volkov, which reminds me of Thor, but like not Thor. I love the weapons though. The weapons are beautiful. They're probably my favorite part of the Volkov uh, sets of skins for weapons. Then we have Huntsman. Volkov. I actually like this one a lot because it reminds me of Bloodborne. Anybody play Bloodborne? These weapons uh, look pretty cool as well. They look like they're handcrafted, kind of have like bandages wrapped around the blade and stuff. It's pretty dope. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase all three of these skins so we can play a game with each skin today. Beautiful. Uh, before we hop into an actual game, I'm just gonna jump into a training match really quick. Oh wait, 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 before we do that, there's other stuff. Other stuff. You have the, uh, the win- what? Winner Wonderland 19 podium with the, uh, choo-choo train going across. Very cool. I think I was too poor to get the one last year, but I think I can get this one this year. So we're gonna go ahead and buy that as well. And then, is there anything else? Oh! Nutcracker Cassidy. I'm actually going to save that for another video. We're going to dedicate this video to Volkov. And I already have the Frostbite KO effect. I got the podium. They, they uh, have the Winter Daggers here. I already own. That's very nice. Uh, I already own the Avatars. I think there's a couple for Winter. There's the Mjolnir Snowflake and Bami the Snowman. And last but not least... We have the Winter Holiday Colors! So this is how I know there's only been 5 Legends in 2019 because these are the only uh, Legends that I can buy the Winter Holiday Colors for and I bought them all last winter so these 5 Legends have been released uh, since last winter. So 5 Legends a year, not bad, you're getting a Legend every 2-3 to three months. Let's go ahead and purchase these. Uh, the reason I buy these colors with mammoth coins and not uh, just regular gold coins is because I'm saving my gold coins for purchasing black and white colors. They, they're expensive. I would rather just use my mammoth coins than use gold because the gold takes time and time is money, friend. Alright, so we got all the colors now. Let's hop into a training match with Volkov really quick. Oh man, I'm just gonna go default at first. I'm gonna show you guys his SIGs really quick. There is a couple SIGs with active input. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab an axe. All right, so Volkov, he has very high dex, which means his attacks will hit very quickly. He can recover from attacks very fast. All right, so side SIG. All right, side SIG, you can kind of fly with it really far and uh, if you hit it right it'll just pop them straight down all right that's holding it if you don't hold the side sig it goes like this it hits him up boom it's actually pretty nice looking almost like uh, Nick's side sig on sight except it comes out even faster I'm pretty sure it hits the air and the ground so that's pretty dope but you hold it boom you, you, you can fly a little bit all right down sig on the axe. Pretty safe move to throw out because unless they're going to punish you from hitting you on top of you, uh, it's kind of hard to, to come in there when you're throwing out axe swings like that. It doesn't actually do anything. You don't get that third hit unless you actually hit them with it. It's pretty cool. 
Alright, neutral sig. This one is actually really fun to use because it comes out fast. It's kind of like Jala Axe Neutral Sig in that uh, it hits the same hitbox. But I'll see if I can hit him with it. All right, that, he's got too much damage. Boom! If you hold it, it doesn't really do anything different. All right, that's the axe. Now let's look. Let's look at the scythe. Let's look at the. There we go. Alright, that's the Scythe Neutral Sig. You can hold it as long as you want. It doesn't do anything different. Uh, you can do like a Neutral Light and a Neutral Sig. It works alright if they don't dodge down or like anywhere else pretty much. It's kind of like Mordex Gauntlet's Neutral Sig if you know that. Uh, I don't think I'll be using it too often, but it is kind of fun to throw out every now and then. And it lasts a lot longer. So you can... Uh, Maybe get people to jump into it. I like it as a recovery onto the edge like that. It kind of like pushes you back. But if they know it's coming, they're just going to back step like that and then punish you. All right. That's the uh, neutral sig, right? Here's the down sig. Down sig, you throw out a little, little bat area. If you hold it down, it just does that. And then it hits them. That's it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Comes out a little bit slow, um, but not too terrible. It reminds me a lot of the uh, Lord Brax Blaster Down Sig, but slower. So it's a little bit worse. All right, this is the one that everybody's been waiting for, I bet. Scythe Side Sig, here we go. Boom, hold it, boom. See how close I gotta get to hit him though? You gotta be pretty close, all right? If you don't do anything and you hit him, he'll just go behind and hit him backwards. But if you hold forward, he will actually teleport and slam them down and there's like nothing they can do. I would almost always recommend hitting him forward. Uh, unless you're actually like hitting him from off the stage like that. I was trying to do it. Then it'll hit him like, no, now you're, be you're off the stage. You know what I mean? And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and jump into an actual game with Volkov. I'm going to do a game with each skin. I'm going to go ahead and start it out with Blood Moon. Let's look at the colors here real quick. That actually looks really good. I don't have any colors for him really except Winter Holiday because I just got him. All right, so let's just do classic colors, I guess. And I don't have any stances unlocked either. This is literally my first game ever playing Volkov against an actual human. So we'll see how I do. I have a feeling a lot of people are going to be playing Volkov today. Yep. Um, Acer MVP is a really good player too. I, uh, probably not going to do that great at first because, you know, you got to get used to him. You got to get used to his SIGs and how they work. But he has two weapons I like, so. Nice bomb, dude. Got him. So I came at him with that axe down sig and it, it actually worked pretty good. Oh, I don't know where he was going with that one. is fun especially that one I haven't really used the site that much
Oh, he got me, dude. My first stock. My first stock down with Volkov. Woo! I've been using the axe too much. I want to use the scythe a little bit. <laughs> I like that you can hold that. It is kind of cool. There you go. He hit it on me. That's what I wanted to see. Ooh, he hit me there with that. Watch, I'm gonna use it to get back on stage. Oh, he hit the scythe out of me. First game with Volkov is a win, baby! GG, dude, GG. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change my podium. Let's go, where is it? Winner Wonderland, there we go. All right, that was fun. All right, this time we're doing Blue Virus Volkov, baby. I gotta level him up so that I can get the stances unlocked. I forget what levels like you need to actually get to do the stances. Oh, I love the scythe. I haven't, uh, this is actually one of my favorite looking scythes in the game. All right, I didn't use the scythe that great last game. I wanna actually use the side sig and the down sig and the neutral sig. I didn't hit him with a single scythe sig. I don't think that entire game. So, the axe, the axe is easy to hit with. The sigs are just amazing. Oh boy. Yep, axe is still awesome. All right, scythe, scythe. Give me that beautiful pickaxe. Ooh, I hit him with that. That one, not so much. <laughs> he got me there good. Dang it. Well, at least I hit him with the side, side sig. I didn't hold it forward like I should have. There we go. Hit him with that down sig. Oh, bye bye, dude. Bye bye. Isn't this sight so beautiful, though, guys? I love it. I need to get the hit placement down on that. Got him. GG dude. That scythe, uh, or I mean that axe side sig is so good if you hold it down when they're coming back off the edge because it slams them down. It hits, oh yeah, I got brown colors. Let's look. Yeah, hmm. All right, it actually doesn't look bad on Huntsman because it looks like a leather coat. Um, but yeah, the, the axe is so good on Volkov. All right, we've done uh, Blue Virus Volkov. Now let's do Huntsman Volkov. Volkov. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, by the way, wherever you guys might be. I know uh, life can be tough, but dang, it's a great day whenever a new Brahalla legend comes out, right?
Especially one this cool. You gotta admit, we haven't had a legend this cool in a long time. And he's got Scythe and, oh look at this! Dual Huntsman Volkov and we're both in Lacuna. Going against Phantom. His blue colors though. Oh, you notice my eye like glows when I'm charging a Sig? I really like the Axe Sigs. Like, they are so fun. Oh my goodness, dude. He was holding on to that position so that he might be able to get a gimp on me, but it actually ended up costing him his own stock. See, I wanted to hit him that way, this, that time. That way. Oh, I shouldn't have held that. There we go, see? Using it to get back on stage. Oh, did you guys see that? If you do a down sig to the wall, it actually works off the wall. That is amazing. I did not know that. I just discovered something new. I love how he just chills in the air. Whoa! Alright, he hit me with the down sig. That's the only move I haven't really used. Or I haven't really hit with. There we go, hit it. Boom. I want to hit the side sig and actually do the, boom, the active input. There we go. Ooh, that was good. I'm trying to do that sight down sig like I'm fishing for it. Oh boy. Hold that. GG, dude. GG. Alright guys, well that's going to be it for Volkov for today only. I'm so hyped to play him more. Look at that, next level I get the strength stance, I think. So that's going to be dope. Um, really hope you guys enjoyed this little Volkov video. Like I said, I'm going to be playing him some more. Oh, what do you guys think? I think he is fantastic. I He's a little bit slow moving, but he's heavy hitting. And I think if you were able to string together uh, some attacks, which should not be hard... Uh, given the fact that he has Scythe and Axe and high dexterity, if you string it together some attacks, you could probably feel like you're a fast legend, even though you're not very fast. You know what I mean? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. This is Lucian Sword. Hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.